Alabama, part two. Check it out. We're in Good Hope, Alabama. Uh, we're at uh, a really nice lady's house that uh, she's getting rid of all of her uh, husband's cars. He recently passed away and uh, she's trying to downsize. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to get bought. There's a lot of stuff here. There's three window coupes from uh, Chrysler. There's 55 Chevys. There's trucks. There's bulldozers. There's barges. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. So I told her that I was just coming on out. I was going to try to make a deal. And uh, the guy for the job is uh, James. Uh, and if you don't remember him, he was with us out in Texas when we pulled a bunch of junk cars out of nowhere. So I took a kind of a bold move, I guess. Uh, I had him go ahead and head out of here because I knew I was going to get something bought. And uh, we're going to have him down at the end of the street waiting. As soon as we make a deal, load those cars up, get them all the way back to Texas. Uh, I tell you, uh, James is the badass when it comes to moving uh, cars. I've never seen a trucker work that hard. And uh, he's not gonna be able to make it up this hill, so it's gonna be working hard today. Let's go see <laughs> what's up. Okay. What's happening, guys? Hey. Oh, man. <laughs> Put a hurt on me yesterday. Gave me too much vodka. What was wrong with y'all? <laughs> right on. Hey, yeah. sir, I'm Richard. Dennis Reed. How you doing? Dennis. And uh, Robin Wiggins. Robin Wiggins, the lady with the plan. I'm trying. <laughs> trying to make sure I included the people who needed to be. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate you guys reaching out. These uh, gentlemen are my spokespersons, Jason, <laughs> Jason, and Dennis, because I know this much about the cars. Well, so we, I, I'm relying on them. Well, that'll be fine with me. Okay. I got Jason, Jason, and Dennis to deal with. That's right. All right. Well, number one car is pretty easy. Uh, that's a 55 two door hard top. That got me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> It did. Why is that? Deal. He's had it since he was 17. Really? That's why I wasn't going to do anything with it at the moment. But the fact that you would come here and and do this twice. show on him, whoop, trucked everything because we, he, he watched your show. That's really I watched cool. your show because he watched your show, even though I'm not into cars. So this, I got the information a long time ago. Never did yes, anything with it. So now, now your husband was a, a police officer, right? Or sheriff? He was a police officer in Birmingham for 21 years, retired on a Friday. And then he worked as a police officer in Warrior, the little town south of here, kind of like a little Mar Mayberry town. Okay. And he worked there for 13 years and retired disability because he was having trouble with a previous ankle injury unrelated to what he was doing. Well, you know, I was a police I officer. Yeah, I was a police officer, firefighter, and medic before I was old enough to drink. Goodness. And uh, so I did that for about six or eight years in Texas. Uh, in Texas. Took a bullet in 19, uh, 1992. I oh uh, got shot. And uh, then I somehow stumbled into playing with cars for a living. Oh. So here we are. And James never got shot, thank goodness. He worked undercover in narcotics deep, deep undercover, and never got shot, and never shot at anybody. Pulled his gun, but never shot at any, never had to shoot anybody. Well, that's good. And I only pulled my gun once, and that was the scariest thing I ever did in my life. I don't ever uh, want to have to do that yeah, again. I can't. I grew up in the North. Guns scare me. It's not like in the South where it's normal for people to have them. Oh, yeah, in Texas, they just wear them on their, right, on their belt. and they do here, so. So we've got, uh, let's see, we manual brakes. Yeah, manual brakes, no power steering. Manual steering, manual, manual steering. brakes. No AC. A little 350. What do you got behind it, a power glide? No, it's a, uh, I believe it's 350. Turbo oh, okay. 350. Starter needs shim. Dream machine. Um, How's the floors? 
Okay. Come back here. Check up here. Well, that looks pretty sanitary like it's supposed to be. That's all the new door gaskets and extra parts uh -huh. for it right there. Okay. Pretty virgin metal back here. Okay, so we got a 55. Yep. And then we've got, what is this, a 48? 47? So that's a 47, 48 businessman coupe. That man right there built the engine that's in here and it's never it's 305. Just 305? No problems. Did it ever run and drive like it sits or? Uh, the motor's never been cranked. Oh, really? Okay. And then we got ourselves a Corvette. Mm -hmm. This, what year is this? 84. 84. And I did ride in it early in our relationship 13 years ago, but that's the last time I'm aware of it being driven. And then we got a little 280Z. That's not part of this collection. <laughs> that's a, that, that's, he bought brand new. Jason, his uh, cousin, learned to drive on that. That's been in the family a long time. So that's why I cut that out of the deal. So he's your man if you want to try to work that in. Well, we'll work that in too. Yes. Uh, I think there's another garage or another room. In yes, in sir. Basement. Come right here. This way. Come this way. Oh man, this is like one of those uh, scary movies. <laughs> there's deep ones right there. This is all original, untouched. Hmm. Four door. Ooh. I left the door open, let it air out in here. Yeah, it's a little strong down here. Um, a can of spray paint blew up over there. Uh huh. And it melted a bottle of my life on, so it's strong. In the trunks of these cars are all the pieces that go to them. Okay. And then, now this is uh, like a 48 mm -hmm. Chevy. There's all the brand new parts. Okay. And this has been chopped. Chop, chop. Look at the chopped, interior. Chopped. Oh yeah, that's out of the 80s for sure. No motor, no trans. No. The motor and trans are right there. Um, if you wanted to use it, I don't know what you wanted to do as far as that goes. Okay. It's set up for a 350. Okay. LC1 motor. Corvette or Camaro motor. And then the uh, motor sugar. That is an 84 Goldwing. I cranked it, but it needs a throttle cable and a uh, card clean. But it's been setting for People years. People are stripping these things down now, making like yeah. little bat, little uh, well, cafe racers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're pretty That's cool. That's the factory steering wheel to the 55. Okay. And there's pieces over um, there. Right there. there. We don't know which car that goes to, but it's all the chrome for one of them. Okay. Um, and in the there. trunk of the businessman's coupe is all the pieces to it. The okay. headlight buckets, the, all the grill, everything. Okay. And there's a pile of the All the parts that he bought brand new. The other Man, all the trunks and the backs of the cars are slap full of all the brand new parts that he bought to restore them. Okay. Everything's there. Everything's there. Okay. Now there's some uh, trucks up top, right? Um, yeah, very top. Well, let's go check those out. Gas Monkey Giveaway 3 is live right now. Now, why am I carrying two stacks of cash, one in each hand? Because I don't have enough hands and I had to put the other stacks right there. That's right, Gas Monkey number three is $200,000 in cash. That's 200 simoleons, 200 clams. I don't even know. It's $200,000 and guess what? You get to come in here and buy anything you want. I'm not even gonna tell you. Anything you want here at Gas Monkey can be yours if you can bargain it off of me with your 200 grand. Don't want a bargain? Take something cheap. Take the little pedal car and walk out of here with the pedal car and $195,000 in cash. Uh, go over to the gift shop, buy yourself some threads like you did to win in the first place. Walk out of here with 199, 990 something thousand dollars. You get the drift, right? So there you go. Gas Monkey number three gets you some $200,000 cash to you as the winner. GasMonkeyGarage.com, every dollar you spend, is an entry, get you some. I need more hands. So we got a couple of uh, Chevrolet trucks up here. Is that a 53 or four? 54, 256 cylinder. It was driven to where it's parked about 12 years ago. Ran, wind, parked. 
We got a t-shirt that says that. Now that one was parked 12 years ago and I cranked it the other day. Okay. Look the truck over, you'll see. It's not rusted out. No, it's nice. It's all there. Just a pain in the rear to move. Can't put that on a regular hauler. And these trucks are getting kind of popular, but uh, again, so heavy, it's, it's almost, you know, impossible to move. The Camaro's up there. The Camaro. Okay, well, we're going that way too. Oh, this is pretty far gone right here. Yeah, I told you it was, it was rough. Yeah. It's a 350 five speed posi track rear end. Well, that's a good setup for a 80s Camaro, but this one's The gonna, wheels is where the money's at. This one's gonna be way past us. Okay. So uh, we gotta figure out what we wanna do here. I mean, obviously the, the three window coupe, the 55, four door Dodge, not so much. Uh, the chopped Chevrolet, maybe. Um, and Camaro, just kind of not worth moving. The big trucks I'd like to get, but cost too much to move, cost more than they're worth uh, to, to even move them. So uh, we're kind of stuck with trying to figure out a number on what we can get. And that's gonna determine on our trucker because he can't get up this hill and there's nowhere for him to turn around. So somehow we're gonna get uh, all these things down to the bottom. So I gotta figure that out too. So do some math, figure it out. You know what I call doing math? Drinking a beer. Well, it's not exactly what I hoped for. I thought that the uh, three window coupe was gonna be in a little better shape. Right. And uh, for some reason I was thinking there was uh, a couple of other cars and uh, I'm not seeing them just yet. So really what we're buying is 55 Chevy, the chopped Chevy. We can get it to throw the gold wing in. That's funny, Phipps will work on that. Right. We need any barges or pontoon boats or whatever they're called. I don't know, they don't, I mean, it is the season for them. Well, that Corvette's all right, but it's got a uh, crossfire in it. Yeah, but that's, what's it worth? It's 4,500 bucks. Like 1,500 miles on it. So. Nah, it's got more than that. I don't know. Who said it only had 1,500 miles? Jason did. We have, we can have lower down, look at it. Okay, let's take a look at that stuff. Oh yeah, this has got 100,000 miles on it. Okay, that's good there. And what, what makes it say that? Well, you can just tell by the wear in the seat and the wear in the pedals. Oh yeah. All that kind of stuff. I've yeah. seen a lot worse ones. Good old crossfire. Is that what you say? Good old crossfire? Yeah, good old crossfire. That's got some wear on it. Yeah. Really solid old 55. We can push this car out of the way and put that one on the lift if you want to see it. No, 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 it's fine. I'm, I'm used to looking at things like this. I just don't know what I need and what I want. <laughs> Those are two different things. I guess this is your 57, Dennis. Yeah, it's not for sale. <laughs> I understand. I could have sold that thing a thousand times. Put the radio on, Dennis. Show them all the lights. Do what? Show them all the radio plays through the headlights. Yeah, it does play music through the headlights. That's cool. interesting. That's yeah. a new one, aren't we? <laughs> it's cool. We got to see it now. Okay, so where's the speaker? <laughs> That's a little different. All right, let me figure this out. Let me do some math mechanics in my head. So the 55 Chevy is uh, pretty clean. Uh, looks like it's got uh, all original body work. Uh, doesn't seem to be full of Bondo or anything like that. Um, it's been hot rodded many times over the course of the years that he owned it. So he said he owned it since he was 17 years old. So uh, then we've got uh, the Corvette, which is just an old Corvette. I mean, it's worth 3,500 bucks. Um, the three window coupe, a little dilapidated. I've had a couple of those over the years and not really worth much either. Maybe five grand. Um, the chopped Chevy purple thing down in the lower garage is not really something that we need. It's different. 
And uh, then the four-door Dodge that's in there is not even worth looking at. The big trucks are cool, but too much expensive to move. The Camaro that's up there is basically worthless. And uh, now I gotta figure out how to make a deal on the cars that we can move easily. You don't seem too happy there, there Richard. I don't wanna do the work getting all these things down the hill and to the truck, but uh, I think that we can uh, can't take the big trucks so the numbers don't work. I, I'm not gonna be able to add up to what they're expecting. I think the Corvette's worth under five grand. I think it's probably worth 3,500. I think the Wayfair Coupe or whatever they call that Chrysler business coupe is five grand tops. Um, the 55, 25 grand. Um, and you have to figure that we're not even adding up to 50 grand. That's the problem. And I don't think she's gonna like that. I told her that I'd get somewhere closer to 50 for everything, but I can't move these things. The big trucks cost more than they're worth to move. Um, shit, man, I don't know. I gotta go talk to Chase and see what he thinks about getting them down the hill. Cause last thing we need is a car with no brakes rolling down this hill. Okay, so if we air up everything and we tractor it down with a chain from behind, right? this slowly descent, uh, I think James the trucker can get the truck down there and get turned around with his ass in facing the driveway. Okay. And I think that's the best uh, mode to do it. Uh, if you agree with that, yeah, then um, I got to figure out a deal now. Okay. The, the business coupe, the Corvette, the Chevrolet, yeah. I can't take the big trucks like we talked about uh, with yeah. uh, Jason because they're just too Heavy, big. Right? Uh, they're, they're more expensive to move than they are to, to right. have. Um, and then downstairs we have the Dodge, which is kind of the same way. It's the not- The top one? No, I the can, big I one. I don't, yeah, you gotta tell yeah me. the green one. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's- and That gentleman, James bought it for he, he was supposed to end up with it. Okay. And then the chopped one, yeah. uh, and then the Goldwing, Goldwing. the motorcycle. Uh, Was it part of it? No, not that I knew of. I'm just asking. No, it, it's the only thing I offered to his daughter. Oh. <laughs> if it, they, her husband asked, she wanted that, she wanted that. Yeah, I but get it. The only thing left was the, that she, he inquired about was the Goldwing. Okay, no problem. Okay. And what about uh, the pontoons? Gone, taken. Gone, taken. And the Camaro up there just isn't worth moving either. I'm trying to do some adding. Okay. Okay, so we got these three cars here and the two downstairs. Yeah. Don't really need the Dodge, but. I yeah. got it removed from my property. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> but I don't need it. It's not worth anything. Uh, it's it's really just, just an old car. Um, and I can't take the trucks because they're too big. All of them are too big? I thought it was a smaller size one, but what do I know? No, no, those okay. are all big trucks. Those are all big ones. Okay. So far you're doing good. Yeah, but because I can't take the trucks. Right. Well, I thought you were only taking one, but that's okay. Jason was my, was the, I gave him cop blanc. Can't have this, you can't have this, but anything else? I get it. Okay, well. I'm only coming up to about 40. And we were for these three and the two okay. downstairs. She said the gold wing's out, that she offered it to the daughter, boats are out, and the big trucks I can't take. Um, believe it or not, this is a nice car. It's worth probably 25 to 30 is what I'm kind of putting on it. Mm -hmm. And then the Wayfair, I'm guessing five grand or less. The business Corp cool. Yeah, okay. five grand or less. I've had a few of them. Okay. Uh, and the Corvette's probably 35, 4,500. Uh, the chop top Chevy downstairs is probably in the five to 7,500 range. And then the Dodge is really just steel. Uh, it's, it's worth crush weight, two grand, 
1500. Um, but um, we want to do some good here. What do you think? I'll take 50. I bet. How do you like that? It's just. I'm less like. I've been a little more complicated, but. Excuse me. No, but. I'll take 50. I'm good with 50. Okay, coach. Yeah. I know that you're right there. You're right in that one. I don't know about that. I don't know those prices specifically, but I know that and that, and you're right on that. So we're at 35 right here. That's maybe between 2,505-ish. Yep. Uh, the Dodge downstairs, Would same thing. Halfway at 45? Well, that's up to her. Don't be so quick to that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I would go 45. You would go 45? Anybody else have an input? Yeah, I know we gave. Sixty-seven fifty for the chop top Chevrolet, thirty-seven. Yeah, I put it at about five or so. Is yeah. kind of what I had in my head. That, that's what we gave for it. Yeah. That was going to be me and James' retirement the project chop top? together. Oh, I thought it was the Dodge that you guys. I did too. No, no, it was the Chevrolet. I thought it was the Dodge. Yeah. I like it. Okay. There we go. All righty, we can do that. Uh, let me get the trucker lined up, and you guys start getting air and tires and. Uh, what have Here's you? Open. And uh, uh, Richard, I, I like one last request. I want you to drive her in the car. Oh yeah. I'll yeah. take you for a ride. Take me for a ride. I can do that. <laughs> That's cool. So we got uh, one, two, three, four, five cars at uh, forty-five grand. Uh, hard part now is getting them moved and getting them down there because uh, we still got a ten-hour drive back to Dallas. All right, ma'am. Here we go. Oh my gosh. That's forty and five. Are you sure? You can count it, make sure. My mom always said, count your money even at the bank. You can't trust them That's either. That's right, and I always do. Yes, ma'am. Well, you get to count and we'll get to moving. Hey. Look at that. Huh? <laughs> Hold on, let me get a picture of this. Anybody need a loan? Really? Yes. My foot's literally all the way down. Look at, like, come look at this. My foot is straight down. And now they're putting cars in front of me. Yeah. I like to party. There's actually a friend of the family, uh, Jason, that uh, owns the 280Z, even though uh, it's still here. Uh, the, the gentleman uh, bought it brand new, and it's always been here. Jason learned to drive in it, and I just asked Jason, you know, if he would be willing to sell it, and we were able to put together a deal. So uh, this one's coming home to Dallas too, but original owner, 280Z, uh, really cool car, uh, and just really cool that it's lasted all this time. It's not rusty, it's not beat up. There's not even a crack in the dash. It's unbelievable. So I'm pretty stoked to get this one back to Dallas, but now we gotta move all this shit. Nothing's ever easy. Absolutely thrilled. Well, good. I am. It's a... Like I said, what better tribute and how long would it have taken me to figure out how, who, how much, sell them. But the fact that he, you're going to do something with him on TV, priceless in my opinion. Well, that's awesome. We spent a long time protecting the, the citizens and that's what's important. Nice little neighborhood you got here. 
It's so secluded up there. It's crazy to walk around naked. Nobody can see you. Nobody cares, huh? They can't see you. Don't, I don't care. I, I, although I have been in the hot tub naked. And somebody come up the driveway. But. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, that's far enough. That's a treat for them, man. Might see something you don't want to. <laughs> so we got to make sure people know where this came from. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to stay there. It won't. I think I'm going to back the Corvette for now. <laughs> Put it up there. Ah. Whoa. Get a handful of that bug. <laughs> there we go. I'll come down. There we go. Stick one on the back of the Corvette too. Oh, we're all right. Now they all know. So check it out. Uh, we got everything loaded. Uh, we ended up getting uh, one, two, three, four, five, six vehicles. Um, I don't know about how the math is gonna work on this one to tell you the truth, because uh, I really wanted the 55 because it's a super, super nice car. Uh, the Z I had to do a separate deal with and uh, I paid uh, 6,500 for it and I paid 4,500 for the rest of them. Um, the proof's gonna be when we get them home, get them cleaned up because this is maybe a lateral push or as I call it, pushing a rope. You ever pushed a rope? It's not very easy and doesn't go very far. So there we go. Let's get out of here, guys. All right, so it looks like we got a pretty good selection of different cars out for a change. We got a nice Corvette, love a Datsun Z car. Uh, not sure what that is, but it's different. Uh, not sure what that is yet, but it's a four door, which is weird. I don't know. Must have been cheap, but uh, 55 Chevy, that's cool shit there. I like the colors on that. It's got some lettering on there. It's kind of old school. Uh, we'll get them off here and see what we got. Hopefully they all run and drive and kick ass. They don't, Tony. Yeah. No. They don't no, kick one ass? one of them really drives. 55 does. The 55 runs. So the Datsun doesn't run? No. Be, okay. Really run. Well, the good news there, they don't run, so we must have got them really cheap. That's what I like about that. So. I'd like to say I drove all night to get here, but I did not. I had the boys drop me off at the airport and I jumped on a plane. But uh, the guys got home about midnight last night. Uh, Jesse got in here and uh, we're fixing to unload the cars. And then I got to talk to him about sending him back to get the other cars. But for now, we're just gonna get these off. It looks like we had a small problem with the purple one. Uh, I think the whole front end flew off of it, but uh, he was able to go back and get most of it off the side of the road. And uh, the good thing is my Z made it here in one piece and that's what I like. So now I'll let these guys do the hard part. All right, so that was fast to get all these off. Now what? These three, I say we just sell as is. Yeah, I think so too. Corvette, maybe we get it running, but. I bet you the Corvette will fire up. Yeah, I have a feeling it will too. Okay, so all we need to do on these is pull the parts out, take an inventory of what we got, because there's some parts in these three cars that go to the other three. Okay. And I think in the back of this is the wind, uh, the sun, so what do they call it? Sunshade for the uh, 280Z. Uh, the 280Z and the 55 and the Corvette are the only things that are going to make money um, and just lose them. I mean, literally, like first one here with cash. Oh, that's easy. That's what we need to do. Okay. And then we'll clean the Corvette up. There's an ass for every seat, as I always say. And uh, then no one touches the Z when we do need to get it put away somewhere. Okay. Well, that was fast enough. Fast enough. I got to talk to him about going back and getting those other cars. Oh, they may want you to pay him first. That diesel is expensive. We got, we got. What'd you up to, Phipps? 84 Corvette. Looks like what? all it needs is a fuel pump. Look at the fuel pump. These are supposed to be attached. And they weren't? No, they were not. Huh? Um, why are y'all working out here? Well, for one, stinky gas. And it's 75 degrees. Wonderful day Monday. in Dallas. 70 degrees. Happy Monday. 75. All right, so you guys seen us go buy this. I don't know why we even bought it, but Richard bought it. Uh, we picked it up, brought it back, and tried to sell it. 
Nobody wanted it. Guess there's not an ask for every seat. Well, so we had to make one. We had to make somebody have an ask for a seat. We started, we put a post out, giving it away. These guys have been here since about 10, 1030 last night, back and forth from down the street. Uh, and they're taking it today. So finally, we uh, have another parking spot in the lot for more junk that Richard buys. How's the uh, Corvette coming along, Chase? Uh, well, we had to put a fuel pump in it, and uh, the injectors are kind of sticky, so we pulled them out and cleaned them up a little bit. Um, but we got it to run, sort of. So hopefully this makes it run better, I hope. Do you think it's going to actually make anyone, like, want this car? Well, considering it's a Crossfire, probably not. If anybody knows the Corvette, it's not the best engine Corvette ever did, or GM, for that matter. But we'll find out. At least do a burnout. Woo! Gold Corvette! Yeah. This is like the 1980s version of Corvette Summer. No. Uh, uh -huh. I think it's worse than that. It's worse? Yeah. So uh, why does it take three monkeys to work on one Corvette? Because it's a crossfire. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's in the book. I saw <laughs> yeah, that in there. the Chilton's manual. It must have three people at all times <laughs> yeah. on the crossfire. Oh, man, what are we going to do with this turd? I don't know. I mean, look well, at Raj, dude, it's not that bad inside. It's I mean, not that I mean, great not either. The best. It looks like there's a few rat turds. Yeah, one year. One year only. Yeah. You know what they say about one year only cars? They usually suck. Yeah, I know it. it well, this is probably the car they were talking about. Um, all right, well, I, I kind of tend to believe uh, Mrs. Wiggins that uh, he drove it onto that ramp and left it there. Yeah, I think that's, I mean, everything seems to lead to that direction, so. Yeah. Well, the, the fuel pump like, lights up here work. You know, if everything works and it runs and drives like it did, you know, back in the 80s and, and we can make the AC cold, what's the car work? 4,500, five grand? I, roughly, I know that. roughly if you're Maybe. on a good day. <laughs> on a good day. If you're Dave Hall at Bear Jackson. Well, we could, we could, uh, we could tear it up and uh, make one of those, those Corvette cart things that they do. Yeah, because really all we have, would have to do is just put a different intake on it. It's just still a small block Chevy. And then you get rid of all this junk and then it's fun. Uh, there is that. Uh, it's I just mean, the, the first two years, 82 and 84 had this crossfire. It's the very first of this stuff. So they were still feeling it out too. And they didn't, look, it's only got 1,400 miles on it. Do we think, I don't think that's real. It's possible. It, how does it not work? How would it be that dirty and sitting around? Sitting around. And then look, what about the brakes? That's and snake residue. The brakes are fine. <laughs> Why would the interior be so dilapidated? Vacuuming. He liked it. He got a Corvette vacuum. Hey, yeah. I don't know, man. Looking at the kick panels and everything else like that, I don't think it's 1,400 miles. But you never know. It doesn't have any kind of computer it. on this to tell us, does it? Too early? Yeah, too early. Maybe he lived a quarter mile away from the Sonic. And these doing. aren't the correct wheels, are they? No, they're C5 wheels, which I kind of like better. Huh. Well, like I said, uh, just get it started, running, driving, see what we have. Don't spend any more money than absolutely possible. If we're getting over 500 bucks, and we need to just stop. No, we're only no. at like 200 now, so we're all right. 200? Well, with, if I order the injectors, if these don't oh, work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying to clean them and see if they work, but if they don't work, then we have them on the way. All right. Well, well now I'm going to explain to the people behind the camera. Uh, I'm going to be gone for a little while, so you guys have a nice week. I'll text you from the uh, beach. <laughs> Huh? Okay. Yeah. Where are you going? Beach. The hey, beach. Well, do they have Miller Lite where you're going? No. no. But you know what I did? I had it shipped in. Of course you did. Smart, man. Work smart, not hard. They got yeah. something else. So, uh, y'all ready to call it quits after well, Puggy you leaves? Well, can fill our beer fridge then? No. no we don't <laughs> do that on purpose. As a matter of fact, I, I, I got expected to be full, paid for by y'all. I don't expect a whole lot. With the company card. <laughs> <laughs>
it, look, they, they use NSCs, everything, so yeah. nice job. Yeah. Nothing but air. Pump it up. How did you get stuck with this job, Kenny? I don't know. I told him it was leg day and they put me in here. Hold it. It's holding. Or not, <laughs> oh, he put his foot in front of the door. <laughs> You've been in there so long the light turned up, you fucking clown. Dude, you are the fucking one. Oh, dude, he ain't let me time to clean up. What's up, Chase? Oh, you know, just uh, polishing a turd. But uh, so on this one, we had to replace the fuel pump. Uh, we had to put a master in it and then it, and one injector. Uh, but it runs, drives, does everything it's supposed to for an 84 Corvette, so pretty slow. But uh, we got the 37 Chevy. We got the front end back on that. Um, 55 is all tuned up, ready to rip. And uh, we're kind of just waiting on the rest of them to show up, but nothing's really else is worth our time playing with, nothing has, or has an engine in it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the end of the week until the other stuff shows up. So the guys got to work on the 55 Chevy and it's actually a pretty good car. I mean, it runs, it drives, it does everything it's supposed to do. We got to shim up the starter. We got rid of the uh, stickers and stuff on the side. Uh, I was in the contemplation stage of whether or not we we're gonna change out the wheels and tires. Turns out that the daughter um, of the guy who had the car since he was 17 years old, reached out to me and she wants to buy the car. So um, what we're gonna do now is kind of stop where we're at and uh, see if she comes through with the deal. And uh, if she does, I think that's really cool. I mean, her dad had the car since he was 17 years old. So she's known the car her entire life. And uh, if they can make that work and it can go back into the family, I'm super cool with that. So we'll see what happens. And uh, for now, it just sits. <laughs>